I'm going to be sharing with you in this video seven signs that you are going to make a good entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur and I have had reasons to relate with several entrepreneurs over the time and I have learned to see great signs and great traits amongst these people who I have related with. I have related with quite significant amount of people who have been successful as entrepreneurs. People who have been creative, innovative at what they do. And I have seen great signs, but I'll just pick just seven amongst them that I want to share with you today. I still remember far back when I was still in school, I remember one of those lectures, my professor taught me then, gave about 17, there are about traits of great entrepreneurs over time and i don't want to share those things with you i don't want to talk about those things i know if you google trades of entrepreneurs you see a million and one trade that people have written over time about entrepreneurs i just want to share something experiential with you something i have experienced with myself and people around me as far as entrepreneurship is around seven great signs that you're going to make a good entrepreneur my first one is this you have to be able to take action fast your ability to take action fast says that you're going to make a good entrepreneur entrepreneurs by default are not slow at taking decisions they are not slow at doing things they are not people who want to figure out things before they launch out there are people who are always on the go, they go and they keep learning on the go. Let me ask you this. If you buy a piece of electronics, would you get home and prefer to open it up, pick up the manual and read through step by step how to operate it before you launch it? Or you are somebody like me who, when I buy anything that has a manual, I don't bother about the manual. I just open it up, I try checking it, I press here, I press there. I try to maneuver and find my way around it. Anywhere I get missing, I can now go back to the manual. But I learn on the go. I don't wait to learn first before I go. I, I go out learning. That's a great sign. That's my number one sign that you are an entrepreneur. Your ability to take very fast decisions. Another thing I've learned about entrepreneurs is this. They don't take no for an answer. They will barely take a no from you. There is no legitimate excuse you want to give to them that will make them buy a no from you. There is no reason good enough to take a no for an answer. They will never take a no. They, be, they are so they are so positive about things they do, about the life they live. They believe so much to the default. They believe so much in what they do and they go for it. You will never tell them a no and they will take it from you. If you are like that, it's a great sign that you are an entrepreneur. Or you will make a good entrepreneur. Another thing I've noticed about entrepreneur, which is my third sign that you're going to make an entrepreneur, is this. Entrepreneurs are always ready to go into trouble. They are troublemakers. Their natural habitation is where there is trouble. They have this trait to always come back to tell you, I'm sorry, that need your approval for things. They will never want your approval. They will rather want to do what they feel is right. And if they are wrong, come back to apologize. That's a great sign that you are an entrepreneur. If you are like that, you are always fast. You believe so much in the thing and you always want to launch it out. Despite the fact that you know that, despite the fact that things around or people around tells you this thing is not going to work. Edward Buffett says something that is a secret that made him rich over time. And we know he's a great entrepreneur. He said that. When others are scared to invest and they are being stingy, that is when he invests. But when everybody is trying to invest and rush into a thing, that is when he chooses to be stingy. Those are great signs of entrepreneurs. They are so weird. People are always worried about them. They live a very weird life. They make up their mind on things they want to do regardless. And they are always dogged and go-getter. They believe in their goals and they can do anything to get their goals. The fourth sign is that they are motivated by challenges. Entrepreneurs are motivated by challenges. Challenges don't tell them stop. Challenges motivate them. They don't give up at the slight of any challenge. They are motivated by those challenges when they come. When others see stop from challenges, they see a need to go. I've had good reasons to stop a lot of things in my life. But the more those things come at me, the more it triggers me to 
continue. I was even surprised at myself. I just lost huge amount of money in this business. But yet, I still want to invest more. I still want to try more. As a matter of fact, that had given me good reason to invest more because I want to recover my loss. I can't afford to accept that loss. I have to recover it. I have to work more harder to make sure I recover that money. Those are signs of entrepreneurs. It's a great sign that you are an entrepreneur. And this is taking me to my fifth sign, your ability to recover quickly. It just confirms that you're an entrepreneur. If you can always recover very fast, you don't lose today and you wallow in it. You don't throw self party when you are down. Your ability to recover, to learn from everything and keep going in life is a great sign that you are an entrepreneur. You will make a good entrepreneur. Anytime you lose, you are not there train pity party. Rather, you can pick yourself up fast when others are still down for you to recover your loss. is a great sign that you are going to make an entrepreneur. Like I just told you about myself in my last tip. People who found themselves in similar situations are still there feeling bad about themselves, feeling bad on how they took that risk, feeling bad about why they were not careful about the investment. And I've moved on with my life. That's a great sign that you are an entrepreneur. The sixth sign that you are an entrepreneur, the sixth sign, the sixth sign that you're going to make an entrepreneur is that you are always selling something. You are always selling. You just want to sell something. You just want to sell an idea. You just want to sell a product. You just want to sell something. Your ability to always sell it shows that you would make a great entrepreneur. You have selling ability. Trust me, my friend. You are going to make a good entrepreneur. You are either selling or being sold to. It's either way. And entrepreneurs would always sell to you. So if you are also an entrepreneur, you should be selling something. Every time in your life, you always, you just want to keep selling. It's a great sign that you are an entrepreneur. Or you will make a good entrepreneur. My final sign that you are an entrepreneur, you make a good entrepreneur, is that you work hard, you work hard, and you work hard. You are disciplined at working hard. You just love working and working and working. And that can only happen when you do what you like. For me, right now, I can work 20 hours in a day. It's possible. I still glue to my internet. I still glue to my system. I'm always online. I'm working here. I'm doing a project here. I'm doing a research here. I'm doing. I'm writing here. I'm shooting a video now. I'm doing things. That's how I live my life. Any time of the day I work. I work all through the midnight. I work all day. I work all afternoon. I can work and work and work as if work is everything I do. That's a great sign that you are an entrepreneur. That's a great sign that you can make a good entrepreneur. And this is my take. This is what I advise. I advise that every man should be an entrepreneur. You want to know why? This is why. Regardless of your field, regardless of your sphere of life or influence, if you don't add an entrepreneurial content to what you do, you probably will be lagging behind. This is a more practical example. It is a doctor that is an entrepreneur that can run an hospital. You cannot, you don't have the ability to run an hospital just because you went to medical school. It's not going to work. And here is my advice with the level of global unemployment, how they are doing. I don't encourage anybody to wait for his future. Create that future. If you want to be a medical doctor, yes, fine, go learn your internship for one year, study under somebody, but have learned to start your own clinic, your own hospital someday, your own medical center someday. If that's your future, you create it yourself. There are no jobs anywhere. Create that thing yourself. Create that future yourself. That's the reason why, regardless of your sphere of life or influence, you should be an entrepreneur.